and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be continuing the new players crafting series for levels 30 to 35 and as always hello from Ori. So this video has been a long time in the making because you I'm sure you guys know at this point the amount of crafting you need to do is quite a lot at this level and I'm going to take you through the general steps and everything I'm going to follow in order to get to level 35. Now, as you can see, actually, because I've been leveling so fast, um, most of my crafts are actually at level 31 already. So here is where we begin. First things first, now at level 30 plus, you need to do the level 30 different class quests for the different guilds. So go and do those. They will require you to high quality some items. So I'm going to take you through some new rotations for level 30. But before I do that, let me show you the gear I'm now wearing, which again, I crafted all myself. So we have the Velveteen Barrette, we have the Velveteen Gown, the Velveteen Chalk Gloves, the Velveteen Half Apron, the Velveteen Bottom, the Velveteen Gaiters. Still wearing the Brass Choker, but at level 31, once all of them are level 31, then I'll upgrade that to a Silver Choker, which will give a couple CP more. Then Horn Earrings, Silver Wristlets of Crafting, silver ring of crafting and then the level 30 or 31 primary tool now this is an interesting one at level 30 or in the region of level 30 you have these items which are the novices off hands now these cannot be crafted in fact these are rewards from leave quests at level 30 so if we look at the market board so you have the, these novice items and the reason that uh, because they are rewards from leave quests, they can be extremely cheap, but also as well, there is no such thing as a high quality version. So you won't get a high quality version of these because they can't be crafted. So, But they are good for this level range, so I would recommend picking them up. You can see how cheap some of them can be. Obviously it depends on your server, but that's the reason why they're so cheap, is because they're leave rewards. So um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to look at my next leave quests. Uh, so now we are level 30 plus doing high quality rotations is a lot easier and here is another tip, uh, bit of advice or a tip uh, which was actually given to me on the YouTube channel so thank you very much for the person who recommended it now that we're for example we're in Aldar right now in Aldar there's the Alchemist, Goldsmith and Weaver guilds all three of them so what you can do is, when you're selecting the Tradecraft Leaves, you can accept more than one to go towards Costa del Sol. So right now, for example, even when you've seen me doing my power leveling guides, I always go for the ones that give the highest delivery. So for example, this one gives 17,000, this one gives 30,000, this one gives 47. So I'll accept that, High Potions of Strength. And then Weaver. So again, 17, 47 and 30 so it's the same thing again so again we're going to accept this one now i think i already selected the one for goldsmith yeah i've already selected the one for goldsmith so now the reason i accepted the one for goldsmith is because i actually need this item the novice's grinding wheel i haven't got it yet because there wasn't any for sale on the market board and here is proof that it's a reward from a leave quest at level 30. So once I do this leave quest, I'll be able to get it. So let's um, do these free leaves. So I need to make a silver circlet Goshenite. So do I have any silver ingots spare? Brass ingots. Yeah, I've got some silver ingots spare. And along the way as well, guys, um, I did recommend that you finish one of each of the crafting log, which you can see I have been doing the, so far as well for the first time bonuses so do those keep doing those to take advantage for the one time bonuses because the one time bonuses do scale with your level and they get very very large so at this sort of level range your first time bonus can be as much as 5,000 experience points or even higher so I would recommend you keep doing those so let's see I need a Goshenite in order to make this item so let me quickly switch to Goldsmith and as well, guys, when it comes to cross-class abilities, I've picked up as much as I could, but it's not too important at this point. Uh, they are useful if you do manual rotations, but I'm using mostly macros. So, you know, you can have Ingenuity, Rumination is good, Waste Not is good. Raptor Synthesis is optional. It's good, it's okay, but it's not great because it only has a 50% success rate. 
Careful synthesis can be good if you have tons of craftsmanship. Hasty touch um, is not good now, but it will be good once we're uh, past level 37. And I will explain in the 40 to 45 video why. And then out tricks of the trade, pretty much vital. So anyway, let's get a Goshenite. Now, when it comes to gems for Goldsmith, you have two choices. You can either check the how much the gem is. So let's see, Goshenite, which here, look at that. High quality ones, 3,000 gil each. No thank you. But if we now look for the raw Goshenite, the raw Goshenites, very cheap. And these are what the raw versions of the gems are what get crafted into them. And someone here has listed nine high qualities very cheaply compared to the rest. So I'm going to pick up these nine for the sake of it. Because I'm going to need some extra Goshenites anyway. So... Right now, you can see, uh, without food, I have 269 CP. I'm still using the stone soup. So let me do that. I see here I've got Goshenite, high quality. And I tried to use high, high quality cheap, high quality mats because it will give me a 50% boost to the quality at the beginning. So out of the 16... 197 quality for to get 100% high quality. I'm already 848 there because all of the materials required are high quality and that's uh, a rule. So regardless if you have one material or six materials, if every single item that you have is high quality, then you'll be capped at 50% of the quality gain at the beginning. So if we click synthesize and let me take you through this macro. So I'm going to hit this macro now and I'll show you what it is. And I will, of course, uh, show it in the description as well. So it's doing in a quiet, steady hand, two basic touches, a standard touch, master's mend to get us back to 40 durability, and then steady hand, great strides, and then standard touch. And you can see we finished here exactly zero CP, and two basic synthesis to finish. And there you go high quality goshenite made so now let's make the silver circlet goshenite here it is and again same thing so because we have the high quality materials prepared all 100% um, high quality on this side we'll get 50% of the progress so let's synthesize and I do have another rotation for I've said for now 70 durability but in theory it should work with 80 durability as well so let's click it now so we're doing inner quiet, steady hand, standard touch, great strides, standard touch, great strides, basic synthesis, steady hand, standard touch, great strides. Stand the touch again, and as you can see, yet again, I finished with exactly zero. Okay, so I'm a little bit short on the progress, but one more uh, basic synthesis, and I'm done. There you go, finished. So, um, because for lower level, these um, this rotation was working great, so I could just add one more for the sake of it. There you go. So this will be overkill for some of the crafts, but it doesn't matter. If, if it's already finished by then, so what? You know, it's done. And you can saw, see I got 200% high quality using normal quality materials. So now let's make um, some high quality strength potions. So let's see. High potion of strength, high quality potion of strength. Here we go. So we need rock soul, blue yarzen leg, and a gill bun. Now, in this case, um, one craft will make three of these. You need to remember that, so let's make that now. Now, here's the thing. These blue yards and legs are quite kind of expensive. So, another thing to do, just for the, you know, try your luck, you never know. If you haven't got the gathering or, you know, you haven't got these... A way of getting these yourself just check the market board for the finished products because you'll be surprised sometimes how cheap things are so for example to make um 
you see here, I can buy the three I need, or even five if I want to do it multiple times, um, for 700 gil each, which means per three, I will pay 2,100 gil. Now, the blue yards and leg, blue yards and leg, you see, high quality blue yards and leg on its own is 2,500 gil. So in this situation, it's actually better for me to buy a high potion of strength finished. Oops, that's text. High potion of strength finished than it is to craft one myself. And I don't see a problem with that. And I bought nine, so I can do the leave uh, a good three times. It's a good idea to check. Just check the market board, see if you can make... If you can purchase a finished item for cheaper than it is to actually craft them and as well so we've got those now so now we need to get the linen choices so let's get that now so linen choices where are we linen so to make linen yarn we need flax which usually is very cheap linen choices we need okay free undyed linen and a linen yarn so let's again check. So this is where sort of market research comes into play. So flax is at the moment 250 gil each. In order to make free undyed, let's see, where was it? Where was it? In order to make free undyed linen, you need six linen. In order to make a linen, you need two flax. So you're looking at Let's see, 6, 12. You're looking at 14 flax, basically, if you want to make this item. And so if you times this number, 250 by 14, so I'll probably have to pick up this. Um, let's see, 250. So you're looking roughly at 3,500 gil to make the item. But that also, as well, doesn't account for the shards. So what I can do, I'm going to check how much a high quality Shores is, 15,000, so obviously even though it might seem like a lot of money, it's still very much cheaper to make the item yourself than it is to buy one. You know, so in this case, so in the previous case it was cheaper to buy it, in this case it's definitely cheaper to make it, so we're going to make one now. But again, before we buy the flax, let's just see how much uh, linen is. So linen yarns are worth high quality ones. Let's see. So you're looking at about 500 gil each. Undyed linen cloth is high quality ones. About 2000 gil each. So obviously it's cheaper to buy the linen. But let's check the flax again. How much are the flax? So let's see. So the flax, because the flax are 250 and the undyed linen. Oh, sorry, the, the linen yarns are, let's see, the high quality ones are less than 500. It means it's actually cheaper for me to buy the linen yarns high quality than it is to craft them. So in this situation, I'll buy the linen yarns. So let me do that now. And some more here. Cool. So that's those bought. So now let's switch to our weaver. Now this might seem like a, a weird way of doing crafting, but this is a way I've always done crafting to cut my costs. You know, so... You know, it is very important to think about the future in terms of how much money you can save just by doing, just spending a minute to do a little market research to see, work out what is cheaper to do. So we worked out it's cheaper to buy the linen yarns, but it's definitely cheaper for us to um, craft the undyed linen, and it's definitely cheaper doing that than buying a finished high quality linen so we basically are going for what is in theory the cheapest most time saving way so let's now make an undyed linen so again let me just drag my macros again 
So macros, you have this one for 70 durability, this one for 40 durability, and it's important to have two separate different macros because you can see this is a 40 durability item. So let's hit that now. And do label your macros as 40 and 70 durability just so that you don't have to distinguish and you don't make a mistake. Because for example, if I hit my 70 durability item while crafting a 40 durability um, craft, then it will fail because I'll run out of durability game over. Okay, so now that we've made all of the high quality linen that we need, we can now try and make the item. So I'm going to make this manually just for the sake of showing my rotations. So we're going to do in a quiet. Now, the difference between macros and doing it manually is that with doing it manually, you can react to different situations. For example, goods into tricks of the trade and stuff like that. With a macro, you sort of can, but it's kind of tedious. So the macros can end up being very, very long if you do that. So anyway, so we've done, we started with inner quiet, then steady hand. We're going to do a straight away, a great strides. And this is something I do to try and um, make the great strides better. So great strides last for three moves. And you don't have to hit it straight away in terms of quality. I don't have to touch, use touch straight away and great strides will still be there. So I can start using other abilities to try and hope for a good or an excellent. So you see, for example, I used Ingenuity and a Basic Synthesis, two moves extra to try and get it to ch change, but it didn't. So because there's one move less than Great Strides, I will now hit Standard Touch. Okay, now it's turned good at a bad time. So I'm going to hit Tricks of the Trade to get some CP back. So again, Steady Hand, Great Strides, and again, we're going to try the same thing. So we're going to do again ingenuity and now it's turned good so because it's good i'm going to hit standard touch and that's what we were trying to do is that we were trying to force the good to appear while great strides was up so that standard touch would have more um power so now we're going to hit again a basic synthesis and again that's worked well it's a good at a bad time because we don't have great strides up so we're going to again do tricks of the trade and then great strides and to be honest at this point it doesn't really matter because um, even without good this should hit straight to 100% but we are going to put a steady hand just to be safe okay and now standard touch okay see so 100% high quality standard synthesis done so we have a 100% high quality item for the leave turn in. So now we've got the three items we need in order to go to Costa del Sol. So let's go there now. Now this is a process you can sort of rinse and repeat over and over again. But I just want to show you the amount of experience you get and the amount of gil you save doing it this way will pay big dividends later on. So, okay, we've teleported straight to Costa del Sol. So we only have to teleport here once and we can turn in three leave quests. So let's hand in these three leaves. Yes, so 100% bonus because it's high quality. So you see I've got 95,648 experience. Let's turn in the next one. Okay, same thing. So nice, my Weaver just leveled up. And Goldsmith, hand over, yes. And you see, and again, we're going to get the Novice's Grinding Wheel, which is useful. Nice. So we've turned in the three leaves. So now, let's quickly change to Goldsmith. Now this is something to remember as well, is that because we are a... a let's say you're heading our way towards being an Omnicrafter, like we have all crafts leveled, it means you can repair all of your own gear. And the way repairing works is that you can repair gear which is up to 10 levels higher than your craft. So because I'm level 30 plus in all crafts, it means I can uh, repair all gear which is up to 40. So right click, repair, repair all. It tells you which dark matters you need. So I've got some grade 3s right here. This is what G1, 2, 
three, four, five means it means how many of the different grades of dark matter do you have in your bags? So you can click here, repair all. And the difference is when you repair using dark matters, it adds 100% quality even if you're at, let's say, 90%. So you can see in my case, I was at 96%. And because I used the dark matter, it made it 196%. So that's what's really great about the Dark Matter system. So, and that's basically it, guys. That's how I'm going to do this from levels 30 to 35. So just a quick recap. Update your gear. Get the novice off hands, off hands because they are very, very cheap. Or they can be gotten from uh, leave rewards as well. They're really good for level 30 plus. And as well... Um, I showed you the two new rotations, the two new macros, which you can put into the I put into the description of the video. I've showed a way of doing crafting manually as well to try and boost great strides by using other abilities until it turns good or excellent for two moves. You have two chances to do that. You still should be doing the Exali dailies every day. You should still be doing the Grand Company um, turn-ins every single day, including for gathering as well. And... Um, you also as well guys have got thousands and thousands of spare shards um, which you should have gotten from all of the different uh, leave turn-ins you've been doing but also from the initial crafting quests as well and as well uh, because if you've been doing it like me pretty much every single day your company seals should be growing faster than you can actually spend them so in that situation make sure you always have your company issued engineering manuals too to hand to give you a 50 percent bonus in experience so that's basically it guys you know so this is how i'm literally going to be doing this rinse and repeat from 30 to 50 and just keep upgrading gear i, I will keep making the videos to um show new rotations new gear and so on but this is basically it it doesn't get any more complicated than this so add the leaves of course you, you don't have to wait for leaves to recharge just use them when they're available if they're not available then just keep doing the other things keep making one of each of the crafting log keep doing your turn-ins daily for the exali quest and so on and what i would recommend when it comes to the exali quest is that you do the exali quest for whichever class is falling behind so in my situation for example armorer has fallen behind all the rest so I will, for example, when I do my Xali quest today, I will do them on Armourer to speed it up. And another thing as well you need to be careful about when it comes to the Xali quest is that when you rank up, um, you effectively are demanded 10 levels higher worth of crafts. And you need to be careful about that. Because right now, for example, I'm only level 30 to 31, but I'm already rank 4 with the Xal because I've been doing it every day. And the rank 4 turn-ins for, for example, the Deliverance quest are level 40. So making these items, for example, this boar skin tool, tool belt, it might look appealing, but I can't even make them. You know, that's the thing. It's like I'm not high enough level to make them. So I would have to more focus on this item here, this um, Earth Ward potion, because it's in the le my level range. So be careful with things like that. And as well, remember, when it comes to the um, delivery quests, there's absolutely nothing stopping you making the same item and turning it in over and over and over again. No one said that you have to do one of each, like with the grand companies. These ones can be turned in multiple times. So try and remember that, the difference between the Eka 9 delivery quest and the grand company quest. So if you have any other ideas, any other tips and suggestions or any other questions about anything... Uh, with the crafting series so far please let me know i will aim to try and get the 35 to 40 video out um within the next day or two as well and that's basically it guys you know we're on the home stretch now it, it gets easier and easier because we can high quality more consistently so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from ori